righty, resuming the game. Cincinnati on second and ten. From their 35. Akeley Smith out of the pocket to the left, finds Dillon. And he may have been inbounds. We'll have to check. No, it's incomplete. Going to bring up third and ten. Ooh, false start on the offense, really? Ooh, the crowd not not looking very happy with that call. So now instead of third and ten, it's third and fifteen. That's uh, that's probably. Okay, Smith cannot make his completion, and it's three and out for the Bengals. Oh, man, my throat is starting to hurt. My voice is in. Voice has gotten solid. Man, yesterday it was terrible. I should have waited to do the basketball game. Costello kicks it off. Cody, nowhere to go. I didn't pay attention to that play. Sorry. Sorry. I shall play. I shall pay attention now. I shall pay attention. Was not paying attention. Like I said, I'm looking at the stats and what's the, whatever these teams. Apparently Cincinnati was a uh, was like among the top 10 ranked that year as far as a uh, uh, pass defense goes. Or excuse me, not pass defense. Uh, rushing defense. So Cardinals just turned up a big first down. Can Arizona put Cincinnati away? We're going to find out right now. Plummer gives it off to Makavika, who cannot go anywhere. This run defense. Yeah, they, they were right. This rush defense of the Bengals not allowing any run game. And as the minutes and seconds chip away... Cincinnati's hopes of winning become slightly dimmer and dimmer, but it is still a one-possession game. Plummer, down the right, finds Boston! He's running all the way, gets stopped right at the 8-yard line. Unbelievable, 51 yards. I thought he was going to run away with that one. He left him wide open. And it was, they were finally able to get him, and thank goodness they were. I thought we were about to see our first touchdown, and that would have put Cincinnati away, for sure. Plummer out of the pocket. Can he get Arizona's first TD of the game? Fires down the middle. Oh, and that's off the hands of 18, and that should have been walked in. McCullough. Was the receiver. Second and goal. Something tells me they're going to go for another field goal. Plummer. To the right. Finds more. But he's taken down. About at the two or three. It's a gain of six. They're at the two. Third and goal. If they're going to run it, they better be ready. Plummer gives it off to Jones, who can't go anywhere. And just like that, it's a loss of two, and it's fourth down. What did I say? This rushing defense, Cincinnati, not allowing anything to get past the line of scrimmage if it's on the ground. Another field goal. 
It's up, and it's good. 17 to 6. It is an 11 point lead once again. Well, Cincinnati really, really has to start digging into their cleats right now and try to make this a great ball game. I was joking earlier when Arizona said they could field goal their way to victory. Well, what the way this game's played out, they surely can do that. Mac gets met at around the 30. It was a decent return. It's actually a really decent return. Smith. Back in the pocket. Fires to the left. Finds McGee wide open. Gets a first down and a couple more yards. Out of the shotgun with four wides. Holy crap. Smith is playing the long ball. Look at the receivers. First and ten. It's go time for Cincinnati. To the middle. Oh, the, what the heck? That should have been pass interference. Dylan had caught it, but had gotten leveled by their, his defender. That should have been roughing. That should have been something. I feel like, I don't know. Smith on second and ten. Fires to the left, finds McGee. Breaks a tackle, he's downfield! He gets to the 28 of Arizona. And the more this game gets exciting, the more my voice, my strained voice is starting to die away a little bit. I need to be careful. Smith fires to the right. He cannot find his receiver. It's going to be second and ten. Man. Second and ten. And this is coming up to the end of the third quarter. Smith fires down the right side. He finds Scott. He finds Scott at the three. They're going to mark him at the two. Run plays. Run plays. You got to give it to Dylan, man. Give it to Dylan. Here we go. First and goal. Four and a half left in the third. Cincinnati looking. They gives it off to Dylan. He breaks the tackle. He walks into the end zone for the touchdown, Cincinnati. And they're right back in this. It's a three-point game. Four point game, four points. My bad, I can't count. Haha, <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got excited for... I like to see a good game on my channel. I've been kind of getting stumped on good games as far as basketball goes. Uh, this last one we just did between Memphis and... Uh... What the heck? Wait, was that a two point good? Oh, it's no good. He was just out of bounds. I thought it was. I was going to be like, what? Then that's what Cincinnati needs to do. Down by five. Uh, this last basketball game between Vancouver and uh, Detroit was actually a pretty good one. I'm not going to leave any spoilers, but uh, let's just say it was a better game than the last few had been on the channel. The best game has been between Minnesota and Sacramento. That was the best game. Or maybe it was, maybe it was Milwaukee. Was it Minnesota? I don't know. Whoever played Sacramento, that was the best game so far on the channel. Well, Plummer now, with the score of the touchdown, has to find a way to respond, and he will... He's going to start off on a little bit on the strong side. 